All right, hello everyone. I've got another 3.10 tip for you all. And uh, today the tip is don't strafe into your turns. Um, really only use strafe if you specifically need to go in a direction other than forward. Okay, so I'll demonstrate real quick. So I'm gonna hit, uh, and I'm using keyboard because analog strafe is broken in this build. So uh, I'm using W here, 9.1 on the G meter. You see that? And I'm turning. And then if I try to add in strafe left here, See how my G meter went down to 5.2? G meter's in the lower left corner. If I let off, all right, let me sort of center up here again. I don't want to hit the boundary like I did last time I tried to record this. All right, so I'm going forward, 9.1. Now if I try to strafe up and, up and right, see how my G's decreased? If I let go, now they increase back up. Isn't that weird, right? You wouldn't think it would do that, but it does. All right, so the reason why is really complicated, but I wanted to explain it really quickly first for everybody. So if you wanna sorta maintain the best Gs that you can, generally uh, when you're flying around, fighting, whatever, you just wanna hold W or hold forward strafe or ho hold forward throttle in or whatever. And um, there are some exceptions to this, but uh, I'll go into detail what this is now. Okay, so now for the details on this, so if you've seen the basic flight series, and I think that was recorded in 3.8 and 3.9, uh, you'll see that we talk about doing maximum performance acceleration, special turns and everything. We usually don't recommend strafing into the turns. Before that wasn't because necessarily that would uh, screw you over, but um, now it is. Like now if you strafe into your turn, it will hurt you. Before it, wouldn't really hurt you, but it didn't really help, so we didn't recommend doing it. Um, now it'll hurt. All right, so I'll explain why. So let's check out maximum performance acceleration. If you remember from the video we did um, a few months ago, it's called maximum performance acceleration. I'll link it in the description. So if I just go WD in space, 11.0, right? And that was higher than the 9.1 I was getting forward before, right? Why, is, why am I getting more if I go up and right? You can see my TBI in the upper right corner. The reason why is because uh, you are combining the thrust from your mains, your left thrusters, and your bottom thrusters, basically. So you aren't just using your mains, you're also using your left and your bottom. All those vectors add together. It's basically like, you know, square root of two of the squares of those added together, and you get 11.0, it works out perfectly. Okay, so before this was also true and it's still true now, but what's different now is that the IFCS, and this gets really complicated, uh, has been programmed to prioritize vector stability over maximum performance acceleration. So if you're off by just a little bit, and I'll demonstrate this, so now I'm gonna start off by going left and building up some velocity left. And then I'm going to stop my left, and I'm going to do the same thing, WD in space. See how it's 8.3 now? And that's because I started at a different space in the velocity sphere than I did when I started at zero. When I started at zero, I get the maximum. So if that doesn't make your head hurt yet, um, just know that, like, what exactly you get is gonna change a lot based on what speed you're at before this. Like, if I'm going backwards, it's gonna be a different number. See, now I'm getting 10.7, right? So, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. So I'll just say that, uh, oh, I got a, okay. I got a message there that was kind of distracting. Um, I'll just say that for now, just doing what I said, where you just use your mains is gonna help fix it. And that's because the mains are your most powerful thruster. And by basically telling your ship to align your velocity vector with your mains, it's always going to use at least the amount of thrust given by your mains. Um, and the reason why is complicated and I don't think I need to get into it in this one. We can go through it in depth later when this thing is actually live. Um, another hint, I might give for you all. I made a Reddit post years ago at this point about braking maneuvers and how a pure flip and burn where you, let me uh, demonstrate. 
So if I get I get some speed this way and I, you know, decouple or whatever, I don't even have to decouple anymore because of this vector stability. So yeah, that's great. I'm getting 9.1 on my deceleration, right? But that actually, for a long time, that hasn't been the fastest way to decelerate. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to take advantage of this maximum performance acceleration, even with this new flight model. So going close to maximum here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ATVI in the upper left corner there, and I'm just going to find where it's the highest. And it'll correspond to when you do your maximum performance acceleration test. It'll correspond to, so, okay, now I know where that TVI is now is where I'm going to get the most accelerate or deceleration during my turns. So now I'm going to try to put my ATVI in that exact location. And it's hard to do, as you can see. I can still only get a 10.7, you know. Um, so to get the fastest turn possible, obviously you'd want to use afterburner a little, at least a little bit as well. But, you know, that kind of makes it harder to demonstrate. So I'm just doing it without afterburner. So you want to put to do the best deceleration possible. So let's say you're coming up on a space station or planet or something. You want to put the ATVI in one of those corners. And where that corner is going to depend on your ship because it depends on your relative thrust levels. Right, so one of those two. Okay, I think that's pretty much enough for this video. So to review, my advice is in turns, just use forward straight for now. Um, in decelerations, try to find that place for your, your ATVI on your upper or upper left or upper right corner of your screen. And uh, that should be enough for today. So hope this helps some of you. Have a good day and uh, fly safe.